Charlie Baker to Marty Walsh, who made a front row appearance at the governor's state, last State of the State address this past week. Take a listen. Secretary Walsh, I miss you, man. The bromance continues. Any guesses on what's running through Michelle Wu's mind at this point, Marianne? Well, I mean, Marty and Charlie will be able to go to Patriots games together and reminisce <laughs> about the good old days together. But Michelle and likely Maura Healy together get to work with an ever-growing sisterhood across Massachusetts of senators, members of Congress, state legislators and mayor to get a lot of things done that may, may didn't get done when those two were in office. What's your uh, reaction to all of that, Rob? I, I mean, I think their thoughts were pretty simple. Like, isn't this guy supposed to be in D.C.? <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, next item is the, is the Winter Olympics. They start this week in Beijing. The lockdown rules are severe. No spectators, few media present. Is it even worth it, Rob? Well, what's going to be worth it is if China actually gets some criti critical coverage from the media about their human rights violations, surveillance state, everything else. I'm not holding my breath that it's going to happen, unfortunately, but that would make it worth it to me. Ma Marianne, is it worth it? It's worth it for the athletes who've spent their whole lives preparing for these two weeks. And I agree with Rob, whether it's Pong Shui or the Uyghurs, athletes should use this opportunity to raise questions about China's terrible human rights conduct. Okay, best week or worst week? Rob, you're up first. Well, right on plan, my worst week is China on the Olympics. Uh, China was the source of COVID and now their Olympic uh, display is locked down by COVID and it's also being referred to as the autocracy Olympics as the only people showing up are other dictators around the world. None of the democratic officials are showing up, rightly so. Marianne, how about you? Best or worst? Uh, best week, Supreme Court Justice uh, Stephen Breyer, the former Ted Kennedy staffer who long resisted retirement because of political reasons, did just that, that this week when he announced his resignation um, coming up. He's concerned clearly about our democracy and the Constitution, which he holds in his hand here. We should thank him for making this sacrifice and his service to our country all these years to save it. Marianne, Rob, great to see you survive the snow. Folks, thanks for joining us. Every Sunday we go on the record.